Hi friends, it's a video giving brief review on bioluminescence and its applications. We know bioluminescence is the production and emission of light by living organisms. It occurs widely in marine vertebrates and invertebrates as well as in fungi, bacteria and terrestrial arthropods such as fireflies. The uses of bioluminescence by animals include counter illumination, camouflage, mimicry of other animals, for example, to lure prey and signaling to other individuals of same species, such as to attract the mates, etc. In the laboratory, luciferase based systems are used in genetic engineering and for biomedical researches. The principal reaction involves the light emitting compound named luciferin found in the abdomen of organisms which generate bioluminescence. They undergo enzyme catalyzed oxidation and resulting excited state intermediates which emit light upon decaying to its ground state. The reaction takes place in the presence of ATP that is adenosine triphosphate. By looking into this figure we can see that the luciferase catalyzes the oxidation of luciferin resulting in light and in an inactive oxyluciferin is formed. Sometimes luciferin and catalyzing protein as well as the cofactor such as oxygen are bound together to form single unit called photoprotein. This molecule can be triggered to produce light when a particular type of ion is added to the system, such as calcium. And this shows how the organisms glowing at darkness. In bioluminescence, the excitation energy is supplied by chemical reaction rather than from the source of light. And you must know that the structure of luciferin will vary according to the organisms. And this is the structure of luciferin present in firefly. And it is entirely different from the luciferin present in the dinoflagellate. So from this we understand that the luciferin will vary according to the different kind of organisms. Researchers investing the possibility of using bioluminescent system for street and decorative lightning. For that, bioluminescent plant has been created. They will glow in the darkness. So, without deforestation, we can use the bioluminescent trees as street light. Thus, pollution can be minimized and the idea of green chemistry can be developed. This phenomenon also contribute to human beings' virtual experience and enjoyment of nature and its diversity. For example, the bioluminescent beaches are very attractive tourist places in the world. And coming into the conclusion, the term bio means living and lumen means light. Hence, bioluminescence contribute to the emission of cold light. Thus, the nature's gift of bioluminescence can be applied to vast variety of beneficial approaches such as cancer treatment, bioluminescent imaging, etc. And hope this video is useful to everyone. Thank you for watching.